video, I'll be breaking down the four most important ICT concepts. I'll be creating a whole checklist for you guys and including a strategy towards the end of this video. Now these concepts, without these concepts, you should not be trading at all. These are the baseline concepts that are needed for every single trade that you take. And I'll be breaking it down in literally 15 minutes within this video for you guys. Right, jumping straight into the video. Now, we need to firstly identify what are the four most important ICT concepts. And I'll also be breaking down why they are also the most important as well. So, first things first, okay guys, liquidity. Liquidity is what the market is. No matter what you're looking at, no matter where the market is going, it is all liquidity. Okay guys, so I need you guys to understand that everything is liquidity. Next thing. Uh, kill zone timing. Kill zone timing is the only time you should be ever looking for executions. As you guys know, and look outside to the shops around you, they all have business hours. Our trading has to be treated exactly like a business. We need time to be on the chart and we need times to not be on the chart. For if we didn't have execution timing, we could simply execute any time throughout the day. But we need to be disciplined and strict on our rules. So I'll be breaking down what timing uh, the kills on timing actually are, the ICT kills on timing. Next thing is going to be order block slash fair value gap. Okay. Now the order block and fair value cap is exactly where you are going to enter off of. Now I'll also be breaking down, breaking that down later in this video when I show you guys the strategy, but order blocks and fair value gaps are so important yet so simple yet so effective. So I would actually deem that as one of the most important concepts, uh, ICT concepts. Now, lastly, is going to be, uh, so we've got liquidity, we've got kills in time, we've got order book, and then lastly is gonna be a market structure shift. Now the market structure shift is going to be your key to start looking for an entry. Again, I'll be breaking this down shortly. But this is what is going to spark that hunt mode inside of you to start looking for an entry. So these four are the most important concepts, in my opinion, to ICT concepts when trading. Without any of these, you should not have any form of entry. You shouldn't even be looking for a trade. So what I'll do for you guys is now create a whole strategy and show you guys why these things are so important. So this, uh, this strategy that I'm actually going to be showing you guys is going to be one of the strategies that I actually trade, if not the only strategy I trade, broken down in very simple terms. So if I break it. First things first, right, guys, for you, we need to understand the kills on timing. What are what is the London? So there's going to be two kills on timings that we're going to be trading. The London open kill zone, which is going to be from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. And the New York open kill zone, which is going to be 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, I'm referring to New York timing in this video, guys, okay? New York timing. So you can convert that to your local timing or... If you want to toggle your trading view timing to New York, simply click the trading view button in the bottom right corner and go to UTC minus four New York. ICT teaches in New York timing, so it's just much easier for me to replicate the exact same. So that's going to be that. So the the actual strategy that we're going to be using, okay, guys, is going to consist of, okay, first things first, uh, liquidity sweep a mark structure shift an order block or fair value gap okay that's how simple the strategy is going to be now what pairs can this actually work on XOUUSD which is gold my favorite euro USD GBP USD now you can use it on other pairs I just haven't personally used it so I'm not going to recommend any other ones the time frames that we're going to be using in this strategy is going to be the 15 minute and five minute right so step one you need to first delineate your um oh don't know why this froze so first you need to delineate your sessions so your session time is okay guys so for example 2 a.m to let's say this is 5 a.m okay guys 
Now that's going to be your London session. So once you've marked that out, prior to your session starting, you're going to have no bearing on price whatsoever. So if price wants to go up, down, sideways, whatever it wants to do, you have no bearing on price whatsoever. Okay, guys. Now, as soon as it does come to your session starting, this is where you now start looking for a setup. Now, how do you look for a setup? First things first, you need to identify your buy side and sell side liquidity areas. So we've got buy side, then we've got sell side liquidity. I'm gonna mark these out as liquidity. Now, if you don't know how to identify liquidity, they can be session highs and lows or significant highs and lows or weekly or daily highs and lows. Um, we do break it down in our um, on our YouTube channel a lot more. Again, this strategy is not taking into account a uh, higher time frame bias. Again, we break, we've break. we got a whole video on higher time frame bias on our YouTube channel if you do want to check that out. So as soon as our session starts, we let price do whatever it wants. And then we wait for a market structure, uh, sorry, for a liquidity sweep. Now, if our sell side liquidity gets swept, what's under sell side liquidity? Buy stops, so we're going to look for buys. If our buy side liquidity gets swept, what's above buy side liquidity? Sell stops, so we look for sells. In this case, our sell side liquidity got swept, so we're now looking for buys. We then drop into the five minute time frame where we anticipate a market structure shift as this high has been taken. Once we get our market structure shift, we want to identify our order block or fair value gap again. It's totally down to you which one you choose to um, trade. I personally love using order blocks. So that's going to be an order block. And then we simply wait for, this is where the patience comes in. And we simply wait for a retracement and then target opposing liquidity. And that is exactly how we get our trade. So as you can see, liquidity sweep done, market structure shift done, order block of fair value gap done. And obviously with our sessions timing, and that's going to be how simple the strategy is. Yeah, so effective. This strategy alone can make you profitable, and I can guarantee that. Example of an actual trade using this strategy. Um, I'm going to break it down just so you guys can really understand and convey to yourself that these are the most important ICT concepts. And one you can once you can checklist all of this before taking a trade, I can guarantee you your success rate will absolutely go through the roof. Now, before you guys think I'm just one that's talking and not provided any sort of results. We have a free telegram in the link below where we share so many trade ideas. We've had an amazing week. This is my telegram app. If you do need to contact me on a personal level, ask me any questions you like. We pass, um, we've, we've taught so many students. We trade one style, one strategy, one ICT strategy. We share so much free value in the group. Um, so I've, I've shared most of my payouts in this group as well. As you can see, I have a $7,656 payout from funding pips. Um, also anyone who comes through from YouTube will get an absolutely free 100k, 200k, 50k HFT pass in celebration of my, um, my most recent payouts and obviously our rapid growth. We've also got a lifetime membership for literally $49.99, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so it's not $99 anymore, it's $49.99. I don't even think you can get lunch for that nowadays. Uh, then we also have the mentorship, of course. We've absolutely killed it in the, in the markets this week. Clients have done so well. We've got a whole weekly breakdown section, the whole course, we've got our whole concepts. These are concepts that we teach in our one strategy that we actually trade. So if you wanna join that, do join the link in the description below or if you wanna contact me on a personal level. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the live section of this video whole trade for you just so you guys can really understand these concepts and why these concepts are so important and how you can actually trade so simply yet so mechanically and follow follow all those steps to the T and actually become profitable so first things first you might notice this indicator on my screen they just mark out kills on timing like we've got the London open kills on from 2 a.m to 5 a.m and the New York from 7 a.m to 10 a.m if you guys do want to use this um, indicator, it's called KZ Boxes by David. Um, if you want to use the exact same colors as mine, is all you can do. It's simple as. There we go. So, anyways, we're going to pick our kill zone timing. So, um, I'm actually going to be trading the New York kill zone um, for this breakdown. So, Starts in 15 minutes. Okay, perfect. So first things first, right? We're gonna mark out our sell side and buy side liquidity. So these significant highs can be buy side. 
and then we can have either session highs and lows remember what i said so we've got monday new york lows as our sell side liquidity okay guys very straightforward now that we've marked out our um, session highs and lows or sort of liquidity i'm going to just have a checklist here so we've got our we're trading the new york open kill zone we've got our liquidity marked out we now just need a liquidity sweep so we wait for our session to start as you can see as soon as the session starts we get our sweep of liquidity now liquidity doesn't have to be a body close below it can be a wick anything that grabs liquidity so as soon as liquidity gets grabbed we jump into the five minute time frame um, so as soon as we um get our liquidity sweep we now seek a market shift so firstly we understand that there is our most recent high so we're going to want a market shift through there unless we get a new low created now look here we've got a brand new low created why because if you can see oh this candle here so where the low is created the candle before it and after it is below that high that high swing point so we're going to move our market structure here now we simply wait for a market structure shift bang as soon as we get that market structure shift so again i'm going to write that down so we've now got our market shift so that's checked off that checklist we now mark out an order block or fair value gap again you can choose whatever one you want marked out my order book now we wait for a retracement so we've also got an order book marked out wait for a retracement in that's exactly what we got so as soon as we got that move back in get our entry stop loss just at that low and then target opposing liquidity so we've got a one to five risk reward ratio there the four main ICT concepts have been ticked. So now all we do is simply wait for the trade to play out. And as you can see, the trade plays out to a T. One to five risk to all. Didn't mean to play that much. So I don't know why my trading view is lagging, but as you can see, one to five bagged just like that. So straightforward, so easy. And I hope this video really did understand and help you guys understand what are the main concepts of ICT. And also I've chucked in a little strategy video in there for you. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, again, do join our free Telegram in the link below. We've got so much free value. We're doing tons of giveaways. We do so much free value every single week. We do weekly breakdowns, um, trade ideas, what trades we're going to be taking, what videos are coming out. So do join that in the link below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.